Crotel Angie is a deep upgrade of the famous French Crotel family, which, an all-weather, short-range surface-to-air system developed to intercept airborne-ranged weapons and aircraft. From cruise or anti-ship missiles to helicopters, UAVs, or low-flying high-performance fighter aircraft. It was developed by Thompson CFS Matra, now Thales Group, and consists of a mobile land-based variant, as well as various naval ones. Based on Crotel NG and in cooperation with Finnish partner Patria, developed into ETO 90M, a self propelled air defense system in accordance with the requirements of the Finnish Army. The system uses the chassis of the Finnish armor personnel carrier, Patria Pasi. A total of 21 systems have been ordered, with 480 missiles delivered. It is sometimes referred to as the XA181. From 2007 to 2010, it was modernized and renamed ETO 90M. The turret houses the search and tracking radar, optical systems, and eight Crotel VT-1 missiles ready to launch. A single large outrigger is located at the front, and two outriggers are fitted to the rear corners of the vehicle. The ETO 90M is equipped with the Crotel search and separate tracking radar. The tracking radar is located on the turret, and the search radar is mounted on the top of the mast. The radar system is capable of tracking a target while scanning, but can only track targets within a squallow 30 degrees arc from the front of the turret. The Crotel NG system fires the VT-1 medium-range surface-to-air missile that can reach up, up to Mark 3.5. It is deemed effective against both helicopters and fast-moving jet aircraft. The maximum horizontal range is 11 km and maximum altitude is 6 km. A single missile can be launched and guided at a time. Interval between engagements is reported as short. The Crotel VT-1 is guided using radio commands from the launch vehicle. The missile is tracked by the launch vehicle by either fire control radar or infrared camera. The E-290 is fitted with a 30 km range tracking radar. TV camera and infrared camera. The 20 km search radar allows for independent operation. However, it is most effective in a coordinated draw with inputs from longer range early warning radar. The ETO 90M improvement allows for optical fire direction away from the vehicle, increasing crew's survivability. Possibly, it also allows for fully passive operation of the large vehicle not using the radar. The E290 is based on the XA181 chassis, which is a derivative of the XA180 armor personnel carrier. The steel armor protects the crew from small arms fire and shell splinters. The vehicle has relatively long hull, and the crew is spread out at the very ends of the front and rear of the vehicle, so it's unlikely to get knocked out by a single kinetic shell from the sides. Besides, the Ito doesn't have any reserve ammo rack, and there are only engine and fuel tanks at the middle of the hull, so sometimes it will absorb many rounds from inexperienced enemy. The unmanned turret is quite vulnerable to overpressure damage due to its exposed. 
The XA181 wheel chassis allows for good mobility on roads and reasonable cross-country mobility. Since the Eto 90M is much heavier and has a higher center of gravity, the off-road mobility is reduced compared to the regular APC variants. The E290 is not intended to be used while on the move. Three outriggers provide stability in the firing position.